So guys, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Usually I'm doing vlogs, you know, like going out and stuff. But today, guys, it's been snowing for the past three days and it's like five degrees outside. So I don't wanna be outside at all. So I'm gonna be inside talking to you guys about how I started my journey on social media, how I started, why I started, the ups and downs, and honestly, some tips I can give you guys if you guys wanna be influencers as well. Now, when I entered school in seventh grade, guys, I was like an emo kid. I had my hair to the side, I had like a big oversized hoodie. Like, I was just like a shy, short kid, guys. I was like one of the short kids at school. It was like so crazy. Like, most of the girls were taller than me. And it was just like, damn. Like, I just feel so like insecure about myself. Like, every little aspect, my looks, my hair, my height, how I talk, everything about me, I was just super, super insecure about. As you can tell, guys, I wasn't a popular kid at school. I don't know if nowadays that's still a thing. But obviously, guys, I wasn't part of the cool kids. Like, my looks, everything about me was not cool, was not popular or whatever. I was super unconfident by myself. I was super insecure. We'll say about my hair and my height, cause honestly guys, everybody was telling me, I was like, damn, like I'm just gonna be sure my rest of my life. And I just didn't want that. I was like, damn, I just felt so insecure, so unconfident. I just like, no, I was kind of depressed, I guess you can say. So all I did like throughout middle school was just go to school, go home and just play Fortnite because Fortnite was just coming out and like the first season, the second season. So I was just playing Fortnite all day. They didn't want to talk to girls. So I was just scared. I didn't feel good enough and just like, that's what, that's all I did throughout my middle school days. Starting eighth grade, not starting eighth grade, but like ending eighth grade, guys. I started an account, an Instagram account. It's called Moody Edits, and my plan for that account was to like, like sign the tradition. So basically, it would be like a sentence of a song, and like a transition to a different sentence. It was pretty cool doing that. I enjoyed it. And honestly, guys, I don't know why I even enjoyed it doing it. Like, I don't know what made me want to do it. I think I just seen the video. I was like, "Well, I want to do it." So I started that account. I started posting daily and daily. I started with iMovie, but it wasn't good quality at all. But some reason people still liked it and then i got video star which i had to pay for it and then i just do like so many better transitions because i had like a whole graph and like presets and like a lot of stuff so i started editing a lot entering freshman year guys i was getting a lot of traction like i was getting followers and followers and followers i started getting a thousand followers two thousand ten thousand fifty thousand i was like bro what the fuck? i was getting millions of views like millions not even thousands millions of views i was like what the fuck? Going back into school, people noticed like I was getting followers because of the popular kids had like over a thousand, around a thousand. I was get, having like 20,000, 50,000 followers. So they were like, what the fuck? Like, how's he doing that? So it was like a really insane moment for me. I was like, what the, like, how am I getting followers by this and stuff like that? I just kept posting and posting and people like starting to notice that. And they just started asking me for shots. Oh bro, can I get a shout out? Can I get a shout out? Can I get a shout out? I'm like, bro, like, you never talked to me, now you wanna talk to me. Like, now that I have like some followers, now you wanna come over here and like talk to me and ask for a shout out. Like, nah, I'm not gonna give no one a shout out. Like, that's weird as fuck. People be like, hey bro, let's do a shout out for shout out, shout out for shout out. Like, fuck no, like, I'm not gonna do none of that. Y'all didn't fuck with me before, so don't fuck with me now. Like, what the fuck? And back in the days, guys, there was Musically. There was no TikTok at all, so the, the biggest thing was Snapchat, um, like Musically and Instagram that was basically the biggest things back in the days. But eventually, guys, I got bored of it. Like, I didn't like doing it no more. I got that count to like 250,000 followers which is insane and i sold it for like i think around a thousand dollars i was like i didn't want to do this no more and like the editing stuff was like dying down i was like nah like i don't want to do this no more people know, knew me as moody edits and like i didn't want that i didn't want people knowing me over some edits i want people knowing me because of me so i was like nah, i'm gonna sell this and i sold it but i never had a plan of doing anything else at all so i just sold it and then continued like doing what I was just doing like normal life and like even though I have so many followers guys I didn't feel confident myself I didn't think I was this and that I didn't think I was a cool kid none of that I was still the same person just doing edits and just had some numbers I feel like me growing up like doing that gave me like character development to this day too like I don't think so much of myself I'm not, I don't think so much full of myself I'm like oh I have this I have that I have this many followers like I'm not, I, I can't talk to you I'm too cool like fuck that like, I'm just the same person if you guys ever meet me you're gonna be understanding how I am as a person. But boom, guys, getting the end of freshman year, like I said, I was super not confident and I wanted to look better, you know? I wanted to like look good. And I was like, well, what can I do? And back in the days, like perms were getting really, really popular. I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna get a perm. So boom, I got a perm. And after that perm, guys, my confidence went up, bro. Like I started to look better and then people started to hate on me saying like, Oh, you don't look cute because you're perm. You don't look cute because you're perm. Blah, 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 perm. You're faking this and perm, 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 perm. Everything perm. I was like, damn. Like back then, I let people's like opinions about me like get to me like too hard, and I was like, damn. And then I started to get like depressed again. I started like not feel confident anymore because people were just telling me that, and I was just like, damn. Like they're right. Like I'm just catfishing. I'm just catfishing people. Yeah, but I think actually I did a perm like in the summer, so 
in the summer, like freshman ended, and then the summer, bro, for some reason, puberty hit me so hard, guys. I fucking grew inches, bro. I fucking grew inches. So when I went back into sophomore year, I was taller than all the girls for sure. And then most of my guy friends and most of the other guys there at school, I was taller than them. I was like above average. Obviously, I wasn't like six foot, like tall as fuck, but like I was pretty tall. I was taller than a lot of people. Like, keep in mind, guys, I was from the shortest kid like in school to like being like above average. Like, what the fuck? Like, in a way, I grew that much. And I was super like conf more confident with myself, as you can say. Like, I felt more like tall. I felt more, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but. I started out my perm, and that's when people started to hate and stuff. Like they knew I had like followers and stuff, but I didn't have that many followers. I was in like still, I was kind of getting there, like kind of popular because I had my moody edits. But people knew me about moody edits. I didn't like that no more. I just, I just didn't like that no more. Like they knew me because of edits. Like nah, I didn't like that no more. I think the end of the year, the sophomore, when I was a sophomore and getting to like the Christmas, like first semester and the first semester, um, what people said about the perm really got to me, and I thought I started telling myself like I'm a catfish. I'm a catfish. I'm catfishing people. It's not who I am in one year, two years, three years. Once I caught the perm off, no one's gonna talk to me. I'm not gonna be the same person that no one wanna talk to me. Like, I just felt like, damn, like, I wasn't who I was. I was just faking a person. So then on New Year's, I told my barber, I was like, guess what, bro? He was like, well, I was like, I want a bus cut. Like, cut every little piece of the perm, because obviously when you get perm, your hair gets damaged. I wanted to cut everything and just have like fully fresh, natural hair. But since I was doing like my perm and I had to get like good uh, like conditioners and stuff for my perm, I knew how to take care of my hair better. So when I got my perm removed, I kind of knew how to like, take care of my hair better because before I was just using my mom's random ass shampoo and conditioner, just put that shit on, boom, 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 get that out. And like, that's it. Like, but when I first cut my hair, guys, I had a buzz cut. And I did not like it at all, guys. I was like bald and I didn't look good. But before I even cut my hair, I told my friends, I was like, I was like, what do you guys think if I cut my hair and cut off my perm? Like, nah, bro. like. You look good in perms. I wouldn't see you nothing else but a perm. You look good in curls. Curls go for you and this and that, this and that. I was like, damn, like, fuck. Like, they were like, nah, you're not gonna look good. You're not gonna look good. You're not gonna look good. I'm like, damn. I was like, I was getting this motivated. I was like, you know what? Fuck, I'm gonna still do it regardless. What's, what's gonna happen, boy? Hair grows back. If I don't like it, I just get it again. Fuck it. So I fucking cut that shit off and then boom. The first day, my, all my friends were like, what the fuck? Like, you look weird. You're like different. And I did look different because I had perms coming like down here to like, barely any hair so I was like damn and then that happened and I didn't like my hair at all but I gained looks kind of a little bit more confidence not confidence but I kind of like felt myself now like, you know what I mean like it was me my hair natural hair I was like I was not faking nothing no more it was my natural hair people were like really not saying much no more like oh perm this perm that nothing like oh that's his hair now I started growing it up and like that days so well still to this day the editor was a thing like super big thing it still is to this day so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get an editor. So I was growing out my hair. But when I grew my hair, like I felt like short hair wasn't me. Like it didn't suit me at all. So I was like, bro, I want longer hair, but I wanted like curls, because I really liked how the curls looked on me, but I wasn't curly head. Me knowing how to take care of my hair made my hair come out to its natural like look. And my mom has wavy hair, so my hair is wavy as well. The buzz cut and my hair started to grow and I started to take care of it with good conditioner, you know, good shampoo, like Knowing the process of it, my hair started like to get like a little wavy. I was like, ooh, like that shit kind of nice. Cause like, a lot of people had like the straight ass edit, like boom, like comb it down like, like a bowl. I was like, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. So I wanted like a little messy look. I was like, well, I'm gonna do that shit. And let my hair grow out, grow more. I took care of it, took care of it. I made a method that made my hair look even better. I was like, bro, this shit go hard. Like, I, I like, damn. And then this is the this is the moment where I started to make uh, TikToks. Like TikTok was getting like really big. And I was like, bro, I'm gonna fuck hop on this shit. I was seeing a lot of guys. I'm like, I wouldn't be like them. I wouldn't be like them. That's why I said like back in the days, like I wouldn't be like them. Fucking the TikTok. I just started recording and like lip syncing like my phone right here. I was just like lip syncing some songs. I was just lip syncing guys. And it was crazy back in the days. I was just doing some popular songs back then. I was just like lip syncing and I just posted it. I never thought nothing about it. And then boom, like the next day, 10,000 views. I was like, what? And then boom, like 10,000 again, 20,000. I was like, what the fuck? Like, how am I getting views? And I was in the comments, like my confidence was gaining and gaining. And yeah, I just started doing TikToks every single day, every single day. And I didn't think much of it. I was like, I'm just doing this just cause I have fun with it. Just I'm just lip syncing, you know, fuck it. I just keep going, keep going, I get bigger. Boom, I hit 10K. Boom, I hit 20K. Boom, I hit 30K. I was like, bro, what the fuck? This is getting crazy. I kept going and kept going. And a lot of people were like, bro, how do you do your hair? How do you do your hair? How do you do your hair? So like, that's when like a fluffy editor was like just starting to like 
kind of trend and now like it's really trending but like it was starting to trend but i already had it before like all the trends and shit like people can't say like i i, I follow like i was basically the one that kind of started it like i'm the one that make, made it like kind of known-ish i have like, a lot of youtube videos as you can see my like last videos i did so many tutorials i think like four tutorials already of me of me showing you guys how to do my hair like my tutorial and shit if you guys want to know how to do it go check them out but anyways yeah like that was just crazy but yeah i started getting bigger and bigger and then and boom i went into my junior year and then guys like honestly when i went to school guys people were coming to me like oh can i take a picture i'm like what the fuck like you want a picture like that was crazy like in a way people wanted to take a picture of me but i was getting super super known here where i stay at because my city is small like there's not really influences here so I was like, I was the one like kind of popping. So like, I had like a lot of eyes on me and shit. I was like, what the fuck? I went from a like, shy ass kid like this and that to like like a popular kid, as you can say. Like I was getting followers and shit. I was like, what the fuck? This shit's crazy. I was kind of always had a dream about being a YouTuber, but I never thought it could, it could be a reality, right? I was like, what if I can fucking be a YouTuber? So I just kept posting and posting and posting. Like, I would just be grinding every single day, posting videos every single day. And I just started getting bigger and bigger. But during, uh, this shit like a lot of people are gonna start changing they're gonna be like oh you're changing but even though you're like you're like bettering yourself people are gonna call that changing and then honestly guys so i was just getting followers because i didn't think much of it you know i was getting followers yeah but i didn't consider myself famous or anything and then boom like the Tulsa state fruit was gonna come up i was like i'm gonna go let's go let's go i'm i told my friends like let's go and they were like yeah let's go and guys when i went guys like the shit that happened was so unexpected guys i would go People come up to me asking for pictures, guys. Asking for pictures, asking for pictures, asking for pictures. I was like, like that was my first time ever noticing. I was like, bro, what? Like, it's more than what I thought. I always just think it was just the numbers, but then seeing them in real life, it was just so crazy. Like, people wanted to take pictures of me. I was like, bro, what? That's insane. Like, that's crazy. And honestly, guys, I fucking hate taking pictures. I hate taking front pictures. I hate it. But honestly, I won't take. Nah, I don't want to take pictures. Which is why, you know, I still took pictures. And that day was the day that I felt like. I can become something. People wanted to take a picture with me. I like, there's a reason why I'm here. Like, I gotta keep going. So that's what I've been grinding. And honestly, guys, even during that moment, guys, I will lose followers. I go down, it goes up. It goes down, it goes up. Life is a roller coaster, guys. It goes down and it goes up. It goes down and it goes up. It's just like that. You guys have to maximize the up. So if you're going up, do everything you can at the up because eventually, if you go down, it won't be as bad because you grind the fuck when you're up there, guys. So fucking keep grinding no matter how like hard life gets i lost followers i was doing that i almost gave up too i was like damn like i don't want to fuck with my content no more like i don't want to post this shit no more i was like one like buying away from like buy like no more i mean go back with my normal life yeah i still grinded kept going with it and got more followers among followers and boom guys 2023 hits bro this year was my most last year was my most insane year guys on the January 14th, guys, I took my my first trip. I joined a management team. It was like, hey, let's go to Florida with Brisa, Leo, and Mike. And I went to Florida, bro. And that was my first ever experience, like, with other influencers, like TikTok, like, actual, like, millions of followers type, like, influencers. Like, bro, what? Like, I'm really doing this. It was my first time flying, too. So we flew. I was like, bro, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I'm really doing this. And then, when, you know, we started doing TikTok and that, and that's when, like, everything just changed but i was like i know i can do this like i want to do this like i want to keep doing this this was fun to me like i love this like i love it so i gotta keep going i came back and i think i did another trip too and i came back and then boom um that was happening whatever it was boom 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 and then you know i kept posting tiktok still i was still grinding doing tiktoks and then boom armando hits me up like i started for like armando follows me and i follow him whatever and then boom, he calls me. I don't know why we already already texted, already called, like I already had a phone number, but whatever. He called me, he was like, hey bro, don't you live in Tulsa? I was like, yeah bro, why, what happened? He was like, I'm gonna have an event in Oklahoma and Tulsa. You done to be in it? I was like, event, what kind of event? And it's an event where like a lot of people go and just dance, take pictures with you and stuff. I was like, bro, fuck it. And he was like, yeah, but like, you gotta be popping in your city and shit. I was like, bro, dead ass, bro. I was like, appreciate for the opportunity. Like, yeah, let's fucking do it. And like, let's go do it, let's do it. And bro, I was on a fucking flyer. I seen a flyer, I was like, bro, that's me on that. Like, that's me on that. And then boom, bro, like the day comes, I was so fucking nervous. Um, I drove to Oklahoma and then boom, Armando was there. And I seen Armando, I was like, damn, like, I'm really about to do this shit. And then boom, we had the Oklahoma 
of Oklahoma was the first one, and bro, we had over 2,000 people at that event, bro. My mom was blown, guys. People were screaming my name, take this picture with me. I couldn't even dance. Like, it was such a crazy moment for me. I was like, what the fuck? And after that day, I was like, damn. Like, people really wanted to see me. People really wanted to talk to me. And it was just super, super insane, guys. I couldn't believe it. And then I went to Tulsa, which is my city where I stay at. And bro, we did like over a thousand as well. And it was so packed with taking pictures, having fun, a lot of shit, bro. That day was the day that I was like, damn. And then after that, guys, I kept doing events. I flew to Tennessee, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, and I even went to California as well. I didn't even do an event over there, but I went to California as well, like 2023. So 2023 was one of my best years, guys. All it takes is one video, guys, honestly. Let's say you post one video a month. That's 12 chances one video can blow up. You post one post every single day for a year, that's 365 videos that you can blow up. Like, just think about that, guys. Post more, guys. The more you post, the more chances you have to go viral or video to hit. Like, all it takes is one video. Javi, he was doing hella songs, he wasn't blowing up. Boom, La Victima, and now look, look at him, he's blowing up. All it takes is one video, guys. Consistency is good ass key. Keep posting, keep posting, keep grinding, guys. No matter what, like, I wanted to quit. Yeah, I never quit, guys. I kept going and kept going. I've been posting videos every single week for the past, like, two months now. I've told myself I'm gonna be consistent. That's what I've been doing, guys. I was having no followers, no followers, no followers. To me, like, having no views or nothing. To me, posting every single week and just everything is going up, guys. Everything is going up. It's because I'm being consistent. Being consistent every single week, I'm going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Going up. Like, that, consistency is key, guys. You guys don't understand that. Bro, consistency is fucking key to anything you want, bro. If you want to learn how to dribble a ball, consistency is key. If you keep going, keep going, keep doing it every single day, bro, you're going to learn. If you want to learn how to type, if you do this shit every day, you're going to learn. If you want to do YouTube for a whole year, you're going to learn, guys. Like, anything you fucking pull your mind to, and do it over and over and over again, you're gonna get good at it. Like, no matter what, you're gonna get good at it. Be consistent on the things you like or you want to do. Guys, that's the biggest thing, consistency, bro. You guys can't post one thing, expect to blow up. You can't, bro, you gotta fucking grind, guys. For me, the people are, oh, you're lucky, but you have this many followers, bro. I fucking grinded from zero, guys. Fucking zero followers, guys. We all start from nothing, from zero followers. And now I have, on this channel, three, uh, three, 37,000. My TikTok, I have like 600,000. My Instagram, I have like 180,000. Like, bro, all that was from zero, guys. But being consistent got me to where I am. Now, I'm not the biggest guy. I don't have the millions of views. And I'm not, I don't have millions of subscribers. But I have something, you know, like, because of me being consistent. Making income off social media now, like, that's insane. But that's because I've been consistent. If you guys really want that, be fucking consistent. I love YouTube, guys. I love going out, recording my day, and showing you guys. I love doing this and showing you guys. I love talking to you guys, giving you advice, like, so you guys can get better in life, you can get what you want in life. Like, that's what makes, like, happiness to me. I want to help people out in the future. And that's what I've been doing YouTube. My plans on YouTube now, guys, is to do this channel every single week. But also, I'm going to be starting a couple channels soon with my girlfriend. And then also, I have a car channel that I want to post on as well. So, I want to have three different channels. Also, guys, you can start this shit from anywhere, guys. I live in a small city called Tulsa, Oklahoma. You don't even know what Oklahoma is. I bet you guys don't even know what Oklahoma is. There's no influences here. I really don't have a lot going on here in my city. But I'm still making it work, guys. Please, please, please don't try to be cool, guys. Don't go fucking smoking, go vaping, ruin your life just because you want to have attention and be a cool kid and be popular at school like bro you don't need to do none of that bro like i don't smoke guys i don't vape i don't do none of that shit because i don't fuck with it bro i don't need to do that shit it's just a waste of money i'm ruining my health i'm trying to have a good future with my kids my family you know i'm trying to have the best life like people over here ask me like, how do you have fun bro i fucking have fun i don't need that shit to have fun that shit is just in your head that you need it that you need it you need it i know most of you guys don't want to hear this and most of you guys won't admit Boy, you guys did it because of your friends. You did it to be cool. Most people go, oh, because it's stress, bro. I'm fucking stressed out, too, and I don't do that shit. I'm stressed the fuck out. Yeah, I'm out there smoking, guys. Like, fuck that shit. Like, I don't need none of that. I don't need no vape. None of that. That's in your mind, guys. You put that. Whatever you put in your mind, it's what it is. If you call yourself stupid, you call yourself dumb, whatever, you're going to start believing that. If you go tell yourself you're ugly, you're ugly, you're ugly, you're going to start believing that shit. You got to tell yourself you're good looking. You got to tell yourself you're smart. You got to tell yourself... You got this, guys. Manifest shit because, bro, you got, it's, it's you it's you versus you, guys, honestly. I don't even care if people call me whack. I don't go to clubs. I fucking hate clubs. I've been in clubs, and they're just not for me. I don't like, what's it called, vaping. I don't like smoking. Also, guys, also take risk in life, guys. You never know where you can get in life. I stand by this. I don't want to be like, what if? Like, this YouTube shit, I've been wanting to do it. I never did it. I'm like, bro, what if I did it? And what if I could have been famous? What if I could have been big one day? 
but I didn't do it. Like, what if? But now I'm doing this, and in the future, I won't be like, what if? Like, I tried it, it didn't work out. Or I tried it, and it worked out. Like, you don't know. My clothing brand, I didn't want to do it. I was scared. I was like, bro, fuck it. What if in the future, I'm like, what if I did it? Like, what could have happened? I did it, boom. Blew the fuck out. Like, I'm telling you guys, take risks, but take smart risks. Don't be fucking dumb as fuck. Like, don't be taking a risk that you 100% don't know what's going to happen. Like, have like a, like at least like 60, 50, like 70% rate that you could like succeed. Don't be like some dumbass fucking risk. Like, I'm not saying that. Like, be like, take a smart risk. So, like, oh, I know I can do this. I know you can do this, but I'm scared. Like, do it. But you're like, I don't know. Like, I really don't think I can do it. Like, don't do it. Like, don't be dumb. But one thing I can say, guys, is just be yourself, guys. Don't compare your life to others. Don't try to do something for others. Do stuff for you guys. Be yourself. Don't put an image for other people. People would rather like do stuff to make other people happy. They'd rather do this to like, so you can feel like this to them. Like you guys have to understand that you guys have to be yourself. You have to be your fucking self. Don't fucking try to do shit to others. If I have a new camera, I'm not gonna post that guy a new camera. If I get a new phone, I'm not gonna post that guy a new phone. If I have this much money, I'm not gonna show you guys I have that much money. Like I don't need to prove to you guys nothing. Like this is shit for myself that I got this shit my family, whatever, but I don't gotta prove this to none of you guys that I, I have it. If I get a new bed, I don't have to like fucking show it to you guys that I got a new bed. I just get a new bed and you see my bed and you know you, I got a new bed, but I don't gotta fucking push it out. If I had a new jacket on, I don't have to like post that I bought a new jacket. I just have it on and you'll see that I have it on. If you guys have a better understanding of how I am as a person, if you guys have any like questions or you want some advice or you need some help doing something, Leave me down below in the comments or text me on Instagram, like your how you're feeling or whatever you want help on, and I will like try to respond my best and help you guys out. But hopefully you guys took everything I said in this video in mind. Like just keep it up, guys. Come on, watch for the end of the video, guys. I know I talked a lot this video. It was more of a sit down, talk, chill, you know, get to know me type of video. But you know, next video is gonna be me vlogging, me doing some crazy shit and everything, guys. Thank you so much for all the fucking support I've been getting lately, guys. I've been so blessed, guys. Like, 2024, like, it's been going pretty good. I have a whole vision board over here, but I don't want to show you guys the vision board because those are my visions. So that's what I want to see. Also, guys, don't be telling your plans to other people because those plans are only made for you. So don't be telling other people because they can, like, like not motivate you and you, like, don't want to do it. But, like, just keep that shit to yourself and you'll succeed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.